Chao and Dao are the same in Chinese, right? Just different phoneticizations of it. There are three great philosophies of Chinese culture. All Chinese are said to be made up of these three. Taoism. What else? What do we call and label the Chinese today? We, we, I have Christian Judaic roots. We label the Chinese as Confucians, right? And actually, if you study traditionally faith being called, most of it's about Confucianism, yeah? And there's one other, a lesser, but still strong in China and increasing, Buddhism, yeah? So if we think about Taoism, Confucianism, Buddhism, when did Confucius exist? Anyone know? 500 BC, correct. And actually, 500 BC, remember, he was a scholar of Taoism. His teacher was Lao Tzu, one of the most, the greatest contemporary Taoists we've had in the last 2,000 years. And he developed a social system, or he said, that's not working anymore in the way people are living. He developed a social system of order, which he called Confucianism, which we now call Confucianism, which was only introduced 300 years after his death, remember, in the Han Dynasty. Yeah? 500 BC, that's when the Buddha was also parallel development here, but he was from India. And you're thinking about swept through Tibet and Mongolia and all the way through and it was well welcomed into China actually, so similar to Taoism. My point is here, 500 BC and before, there is no Buddhism, there is no Confucianism, so what do you have? Often we'll call that traditional Chinese culture, but really it's about Taoism. Just yin yang, five elements, I'm a small part of the large, I follow in accordance with this principle. So I call, it's not like this, it's like Taoism gave rise to Confucianism, which welcomed Buddhism, like it's a core philosophy, and we'll call it like an indigenous philosophy of the Chinese. Make sense? Okay, let's move on. Alex has been telling you that this ceremony takes place for over 2,000 years. Why is this only built in 1530? Fire. Fire, good guess. Actually, there were fires in a lot of these kind of things, but actually not in this case. Didn't the Ming overthrow the Qing dynasty? Yes, but this is also, why was the Qing not building it? The the quick, yes, good. The capital, Beijing, only moved here in the late 1400s. So before Bei, it means north. Beijing, northern capital. It was Nanjing, near Shanghai. Yeah, and you'll see the same structure. Actually, you know, when Marco Polo came over here in the 1200s, that was actually in Hangzhou, the capital. So the capital has moved, and when we go back to Xi'an, the western capital, yeah, where the terracotta warriors are. But my point is here, there's a whole bunch of reasons why they moved the capital. But when they find the right site, and they survey it, and they've got this place, what's the first thing the Chinese think about? Metaphysical infrastructure. Where does the emperor live? Where is the temple of heaven? Where is the temple of earth? The sun, the moon, the city walls, and now we have town planning. Do you know what I mean? Like think about a European city. Where does the king live? Where is the church? Where is the plaza? What is the central unit that is holding those people and their history and shared ideas together? So we call that the metaphysical infrastructure yeah, of the city. Very good. Okay, let's move on. Does anyone know why you'll see Chinese people in the park walking backwards? Have you seen that? Good for the kidneys, yeah, actually, you'll see a lot of people, um, you know, good for the kidney energy, actually, in Chinese. If you ask them directly, walking backwards for 10 to 15 minutes a day relieves light lower back pain. You know, number one complaint as we get older, right, three kids later, you know, you start to feel a little bit in there. Um, you know, that walking backwards, that's, you know, these exercises are all parts of observation-based ideas that they use. Um, you'll see the back of the legs really important up in the gym here. You'll see actually um, turning walnuts. Have you seen that? Turning walnuts in your hand? Um, what does a walnut look like? The brain. You know, if you, if you ask them what they do with the walnut, the walnut is keeping your memory clear. And it's avoiding Alzheimer's, number one kind of fear as you get older. 